Hi guys, Jen Seal here. Today's class is Sculpt and Tone with a focus on the core. Um, it's a 30 minute class. I'm dedicating it to all my athlete friends out there. Um, they've asked for this, so I'm <laughs> doing it. And again, it's just a 30 minute sequence. We think of core as just abdominals, usually the six pack that we all try hard to get by doing a thousand crunches. And while that's all good, you've got to balance it out because you've got a side, you've got a side waist, <laughs> you've got a back body and all of it works together. Okay. Like a corset, if you will. And so we're going to start on our mat by feeling our breath, the expansion into the whole core, the whole core, front side and back body. And the contraction is, you know, the exhale. Okay. So inhaling to expand and exhaling to contract. And when you do that, just be mindful of that felt sensation as you draw the breath out of the belly lifting kind of in and up. And you're probably going to feel that when you start to, you know, um, as you start to contract there, you're going to feel also the glutes kind of fire up. And it's part of the process you want that to happen. And it's just going to kind of also neutralize your pelvis in doing that. And we want that. It elongates our spine. There's a bunch of cool stuff going on there. But if we don't know that that's happening, we're not going to be able to keep the core engagement, which we want and need. Okay, so this is all about engagement. Um, one more thing just to, you know, kind of metaphorically, I guess, um, is like when you're doing a sit-up and you sort of start to lift and then you feel like, oh my gosh, it's that moment, that's core engagement. So we're going to try and do it standing to begin with. And then, like I said, just a exercises not necessarily linked together with a sequence or with a flow. So let's just get to it. All right. So just kind of shake it out a little bit. Open your mouth, move the jaw around, maybe move your head a little side to side and you sway a little bit, rotate your wrists, shrug your shoulders, and just know that you're here now. You're in your practice. You're not in your head. Your ego's at the door. We're just here. You're here to practice this 30 minute sequence. Okay. So be present to everything. <laughs> so hip, inner hip, inner hip width apart, begin to move a little forward and back and just notice our feet grounding down. Notice that when you go back onto your heels, like your leg muscles kick in and to prevent you from falling down, just begin to come into some stillness, but hold that. Keep your knees, keep your thighs engaged, keep your kneecaps lifting. And then right here, right now, as you squeeze the glutes gently, right, you're going to feel that belly lift in and up, okay? Just feel that. You can let it go, and then you can feel the engagement, okay? Just subtle here, subtly here. So let's just take a moment to breathe as we <clears throat> empty out the breath fully first. And then inhale through the nose into the belly. Exhale, hug everything back in towards the spine. And you can feel it here. Bring your hands to your belly. Inhale, belly and side waist. Exhale through the nose or through the mouth today. I don't care. Feel yourself hugging in. Inhale. And again, as you exhale here, gently feel the lift in and up and the core and the engagement of the glutes. Okay, two more. Also building a little bit of inner fire here by keeping the mouth closed more so. And it may seem hard, one more breath. Expanding and contracting. Let's bring some movement to it, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Maybe looking up this time. And exhale. Good. So we can continue to kind of feel that breath. And the longer you breathe out, the more core engagement you have. And you'll notice just how it's kind of all of it working together, not just the abs, not just the belly. 
Okay, good. Let's come to the top of our mat. <clears throat> Take a nice deep breath in here. Inhale. Maybe looking up. Exhale. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Hands to shins. Nice long spine. Exhale. Step your right foot back. Coming right into crescent lunge pose. Reach those hands up. So a slight bend in your knee is going to bring a nice stretch to that front hip flexor and you're going to draw the belly away from your thigh. Bring your left hand to your left hip, right arm reaches up, come into a nice side stretch here. So this doesn't just feel good, this is stretching your obliques, it's stretching the side of your core, your waist. And then bring it back to step forward, right hand forward, left hand back. Twisting at the waist, trying to let the belly pop forward. Relax the shoulders. And come back to center. So here, reaching the fingertips up as you exhale. Draw the knee in and come into like fists and elbows by your sides. And then extend the arm behind, your leg behind you, arms reach. Exhale, hug the belly in, pull it away from your thigh. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Reach the arms up and forward, and then step to the top of your mat. Place the right foot down, shake it out. Arms reach high, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen and the left foot goes back. Widen the feet for stability. Reach the arms up. Bend the left knee slightly. Pull the belly away from thigh, right hand, right hip. Extend to your right side. I'm just keeping my gaze neutral today, just to make it easy. One more breath here. Really reach and stretch and breathe into the left side and come back to center, left arm forward. Right arm back. Breathe here. You're twisting here, twisting the side of the waist, and then back to center. So reaching up as you exhale, drawing the knee in, hugging the elbows by your sides, making fists. Inhale. Exhale. And I'll give you an option here, guys. I didn't do it on the other side, but if you wanted to take it up a notch, you could lift it in and up. Reach it back, and in and up, and back, and forward, and step. Reach the arms up here, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, hands to heart. And turn toward the side of your mat, and take a nice big wide step. Turn your left toes toward the left, and just come into a nice warrior two pose. This is the setup. <clears throat> so, left knee, inner thigh stretching, inner ankle lifting, nice strong legs. Hinge forward right into extended side angle. Reach your right arm up at an angle so that your wrist, shoulder, hip, and ankle are in alignment. And now take this guy up, <laughs> left arm up. Turn and twist your chest towards the front of your room looking directly forward and noticing what's happening here. Yes, your quad is on fire, but also your side wet waist, obliques. Good, five, four, three, two, up, one, and down. Left toes in, <clears throat> right toe out, warrior two. <clears throat> heel to heel, heel to arch. Again, Pulling those legs gently apart, feeling the stretch here. And then extended side angle pose. Reach the left arm up, bicep by the ear. Engage your right glute so you can help out your right thigh. And reach up here. Opening the chest. Breathing into the side body. Hugging in on that exhale. Are you breathing? For five. Four, three, two, woo, <laughs> one. Turn the toes in a little bit and then heel them 
together. So close the gap a little bit, okay? And you're gonna come into a squat, now be careful. Bring your hand to your belly, one hand to your hips, and pull the belly in and up, drop the tailbone down, squeeze the glutes just a little bit, not so hard that you wanna crack a nut or anything. And then bend, drop right there. You may have to go wider with your knees, so the knees are over your ankles, okay? Sink here, belly in. The in breath, we take our hands back, squeeze the shoulder blades on the back, so our chest might pop forward, and then the exhale, hug the belly in. Inhale, expand on all sides. Exhale, so let the breath in. Contract, open, expand. Exhale, contract. Two more, inhale, I know your legs are on fire, you're like, this is not a leg day, Jen. We're almost done. <laughs> inhale, and exhale, come back up. And down. All right, if you have a block or something just to put your hands on, I'm gonna uh, ask that you grab something like that now. Take your block underneath your face, kick your heels out a little bit. So we are wide-legged. We're gonna hinge forward at the waist. Bring your hands to the block. I'm gonna really say to a block, okay? I know that some of you may be able to reach the floor, but I want you to stay elevated so that your head is not below your heart, okay? This is about the obliques anyway. I'm gonna bring it up actually to a uh, taller level. All right, get secure with your thingy. <laughs> We're gonna reach our right arm up, okay, towards the ceiling. And I want you to notice as you do that, your hips are gonna swing to the right. They're gonna go with you. Just, just notice that sensation here. So reach it up. Your gaze might go with you. Notice that my hand is not entirely vertical, but bring it back down. We'll see that change in a minute. <laughs> bring the left arm up. Feel how the hips shifted to the left. And back down. Now, don't move your hips. This is just about the obliques. I want you to fire up your core right here, okay? Take a breath in as you reach it up. Don't let those hips come with. Look where I am now. Not as far because my obliques are holding on to me. Exhale back down. Inhale, just the obliques, just twist the core and back down. Let's do it again so we just feel that. What does that feel like? Ooh, I feel them working, I really do. And again, let's just do one more for good measure. Because we love things like this. These things inform us like, whoa, I haven't done this before, this is awesome. Our body just wants to go where it wants to go until we tell it, no, I need you to do something else. Bring your feet closer together. Ooh, shrug your shoulders, bring your hands behind you as you bring your feet back together. Clasp your hands and just allow the chest to open and take yourself maybe into a tiny little back bend. So stretching the core out. And back. Relax, release, release. Okay, that was all the standing poses we're gonna do today. So really kind of tried to target the obliques today because we don't always pay attention to those kinds of postures or side body. I like, I love side body stuff. So we're gonna come down to the mat. A few poses here, <laughs> pretty challenging poses here, okay? So we're gonna start in plank pose, all right? Plank pose is quintessential core building, ass kicking, hard as hell, Pose to hold for a long period of time, right? But it's okay, it's what we want. So I want you to feel the core lifting and drop the tailbone down by squeezing the glutes. Keep the belly lifting and push through the upper, upper shoulder blades, push the floor away. If you think that this is, you know, easy, I'm gonna give you a challenge. You can stay here for the duration of the next 20 seconds or so, or right arm up. Left foot up. It's super hard and super destabilizing. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Gotta breathe here now, guys. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. Hand down, foot down. Woo! Okay, that was one side, right? <laughs> Take a breath in. This is a hard one. Really fire building posture. 
Again, my clap fell down, I can't see it. Lift, stay here. I'm gonna stay here for the 15 seconds. Good, building to one minute, building to one minute. So maybe you do 15 second intervals and you like drop your knee down just for a second, re-engage and lift it up. You can try that out if you want. And then we're doing it again. Go there if you're going there. Right hand, left foot, right hand, no. Do the opposite, yeah, left arm, right foot. This side's harder for me, holy crap. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, down. Come back, maybe bring your hands back and let your shoulders relax or sit up and take your hands behind your back. Relax the neck. Breathe into your spine. Good. Shake it out. So, I can't do core without also firing up everything else, right? So you're getting a benefit. Your legs building strength, your arms building strength. Okay. But you need your core to hold yourself up. Super important. Coming onto your forearms. We're gonna do forearm side plank, okay? So tuck your left foot in, left arm in, come into side plank here. Okay, this again. You must lift and you must hold your core. The glutes are gonna help you take the pressure off your lower back. So it's all the whole thing. Now stay here or you can rotate. Right forearm down, left arm reaches. Left, so we all have where we're at, what we need. Sometimes we need a little bit more. We wanna challenge ourselves. One more, each side. You can do it. Good, come down. And just keep the chest lifted, breathe in. Is your heart pumping like mine is? Holy moly. <laughs> okay, we gotta come up into the left side. So, put your left forearm under you. Lift, turn, and rotate if you're rotating. Alternating. It's super slow. Engage the glutes, engage your core, engage your abdominals and your obliques. Whole thing, are you breathing? One more round, guys, one more. You got this, you got this. And up, woo, and down. If you need to come down onto your, your hands for a moment, Maybe bend the knees, windshield wiper the feet side to side. Awesome. Hands by your breastbone. You just press up to down dog. Pedal the feet. Wag your tail. Elongate through your spine. Press the belly to your thighs. Let your head be heavy. Shake it out. Good. And just drop your knees down. Come back to your forearms, curl your toes under, and lift up for dolphin pose. Okay? Challenge your core, core, core. To make it a little bit more challenging, lift the right leg up. Bring it down. Left leg lifts. Again, remember the core. Breathing in to expand, exhaling to contract. Whoop, my shirt's going down. One more. Maybe staying to play, bring your knees down. Again, lift up, shoulders roll. Take them gentle neck rolls. Good. Come here onto your seat. So, <clears throat> boat pose is something I like to do for core, but I want to do something a little bit differently today. So, and then we've done this before. We're gonna lift up, reach forward, and then slowly roll back. So sit-ups that people like use a lot of momentum to do sit-ups, right? Come down to just where your shoulder blades touch and slowly right there, right there. That's core engagement, right? Lift up, breathe in, exhale. And then lift back up. 
and roll down. Now, if you're doing these things on your own and you decide like, yo, this is like my feet are lifting. I can't do this. Not a matter of can't do, just continue to practice. Add more and more. Do what you can. Let's do one more. One more. We only have a couple more poses left. And lift. Whoops, that was two more. <laughs> Come all the way down. Nice work, guys. Reach your arms back, toes forward. Exhale, knees and chest. Knees go really wide and roll. Rock and roll. All right, I lied. Roll back up, grab that block or whatever you have. Put it between your knees. Bridge pose is definitely one of the top 10 core exercises. I mean, everybody knows plank is right up there, probably number one, but all right, push your palms down. Heels towards your body, so you can touch the back of your heels with your hands. Squeeze the block and lift up. Knees go forward. If you want to bring your elbows by your sides, so roll your shoulder blades underneath you, feel free to do that. But here you're going to feel it, right? You feel the glutes firing up. That's helping to protect the lower back. You're building strength in your, your knees. You're opening your hips and your chest, and your core is keeping you lifted, your whole core. Back muscles are strengthening. This stuff all works together. And when our core is weak, all the other major muscles have to take over and they get tired and overworked and overstressed. Keep lifting, keep squeezing. One more breath. And if you're doing this on your own, this is just a 30 minute sequence. But if you wanna take your time to do three of these with like five breaths each, 10 breaths each, feel free. All of these can be held for longer. Block is out. Awesome. One more one that I really love for building fire, I often do it at the beginning of my classes, um, is just yoga bicycles. So start by drawing your right knee in. Take a breath in and exhale. You're gonna switch it out. Just a couple slow ones to begin with. And as we build, you might wanna bring your nose towards your knee holding your knee and pulling it in, hovering the foot as it presses forward, and draw your toes to your shin, really pushing elongate through the back of your leg or holding the back of your head. I usually end up here because my neck bothers me, and you can certainly feel free to keep pushing it forward. Push the belly into the floor. Push the belly into the floor, but don't stop breathing. Quicken the pace if you want, or keep slow with your breath. Either way, don't let the belly lift. All right, we're gonna switch it up in five, four, three, two, take it to do a twist. Left elbow, right knee, right elbow, left knee, or shoulder, I should say. If you could turn up, you make it this about your obliques more. I do these slower. 10 more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide. Take a breath and let it go. Whew. So if this is too intense for your thighs, take your feet to the outer edges of your mat and let the knees just kind of tent in towards each other. Maybe even windshield wiper from side to side. Come to resting pose, just for a moment. Let your breath slow down. <sighs> Do three nice deep breaths in, in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Slowly roll over onto your side body, come up to your seat. And bring your palms together to your heart. Take a nice deep breath in, exhaling it out. Bow your chin to your chest. Gratitude for this practice and that you showed up on your mat today to get this practice done. 
adopt all or any of these poses and incorporate them into your already awesome self for a stronger core. Bring the thumb to the center of your forehead, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, namaste. Thank you all my friends for practicing today. Have a nice day.